morning, Jasper. Good morning. Hello. Did you have a good sleep? Yes, yes. Wow. As you guys can see, our coffee setup is now black because Ryan's dad actually got us this kettle. Thank you. Uh, and then the other setup is at the office. This is the um, Nemesis bean. Very nice. What's up, folks? So for this week's studio vlog, it's just going to be all about getting the studio ready um, and all the other things that come with it and trying to live like a healthy, balanced lifestyle and just balancing this chaos. And um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Right, buddy, let's go for a walk. Hi, Jasper. Okay, let's go for a walk. I mean, just look at the water. Oh my goodness. Good flow. Good job, Jasper. Let's go. All right, so the plan for this morning is to head to the studio, drop off some stuff, then drop off Ryan, and then go pick up a printer, and then come back to the studio, do a shoot, and then maybe after I could pick you up, depending on what the fun Oh, time. that would be amazing. Yeah. Actually, no promises. I, I don't know what the one I'll be done. No. Hello, my studio guys. Uh, this is the current state of the studio right now, just quickly dropping off some stuff. We're gonna grab a quick coffee. Let's head out. It must be custom made. Everything. This looks so nice. Wow. Hi. Bye. Have a good day at work. Will do. Kisses for the camera. No. Kiss. Kiss. You suck. <laughs> Staples. Here we are, gotta pick up a printer. And I think this one is the one I'm looking for, the one with the, what is this, like liquid drops. So I absolutely despise printers. Uh, I feel like most of us hate them. They always break. Um, they use the stupid like razor blade model, so the ink cartridges are ridiculously expensive. Hopefully these have you know, these like droppers, so it's supposed to last a lot longer. I definitely do need a printer for the studio, so we'll see how this one does. You just tip it over like that. Oh, there it goes. Alright, so I think this is all set up now. Honestly, it wasn't too bad. Alright, so next on the list, my buddy Adam is actually coming over to help me shoot some content because I'd like some photos with people actually in the space. Also, the final delivery from the previous vlog came in. Check it out. This is the Samsung Serif TV. Look how beautiful this looks. The TV's gonna go in the meeting room when all of the furniture arrives because it'd be really nice to like view other people's content, get feedback, um, just on a larger screen so more people can see it. So I'm very happy about this and it just looks so freaking sexy. What's up? Do you guys wanna say hi real quick? Hey! Hi. Okay, that's it. Bye. Okay. All right, so that is finally a wrap for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, first up, we're grabbing some breakfast at Jam Cafe. There's the menu. All right, we got the veggie bowl. Great bridges. What is this? Tater bowl. What bowl? Tater. Tater? Okay. It's a quack. A bit gravy. Right, so we just finished our breakfast at Jam Cafe. If you've ever been to Vancouver or Vancouver Island before, it's a very like popular brunch, lunch spot. Even like when we were exiting, the line was quite extensive. So if you guys are going, go early. Yeah, we're on our way to the home hardware, no, Home Depot, um, just for a little art project that Ryan will be doing for the studio. And um, I am yeah. an artist. An artist. Have you ever heard of Picasso? You ever heard of Banksy? Well, now you've heard of me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Home Depot. Oh, look at the plants. Pick up this donut. Oh, lemon tree. Lime tree. Lime tree. This is a smoker. You feed your chicks in here. Uh huh. And then it blows smoke in here and heats it up nice and evenly. Yummy. Alright, here's what we came for. Welcome to the space. Beauty, beauty. Let there be light. I also moved the fig here. Still undecided. Pretty sure this is going to go in the meeting room. So this is kind of like a temporary setup. Also picked these up for the mini fridge. We got some Zevia, Perrier, and Le Croix. 
I don't know if you can really see, but it's got just like a bunch of texture and it just looks super clean. But uh, the execution uh, definitely wasn't the best. So hopefully this one, oh, it's a little better. The main thing is just to try and create as much kind of texture as possible while keeping the borders Before you start the actual design, what is the the concept you're going for today? Uh, so on a canvas, what I first think about is yes. perception. Mm -hmm. What are people going to see when they see it? Is it just going to be you know a bunch of stucco, or is it going to be yep. a movement? Is it going to be an emotion? Yes. And in this one, I think I'm feeling you know vibration. So okay. I'm going to mimic the, a bit of a wave. Wow, okay. Um, just because I want the vibrations in the space to reflect a constant change in pattern. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what is going on here? That's what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna redo the, the zigzags. Wow, a true Picasso. Here is the completed design. Actually looks really, really good. I can look at these hands. Messy, messy boy. Messy, messy. Oh my god. Hello, Jasper. Hi, buddy. Hello. Look at his underwear. Look at his underwear, boy. Hi. Jasper had a little spot that he kept itching, so we just put this on him for now. And it's working. Alright, so now that we're all done with our very messy DIY project, a big thank you to True Earth for sponsoring today's video. Now, be honest with me. Are you still out here in 2022 using those big plastic laundry detergent jugs with a plastic cap that gets very messy? And then you gotta lug them around from the store to your car and find space in your apartment. If you're still doing that, we need to talk. As you can see, these are the True Earth Eco Strips. All you gotta do is just tear along the perforated line. You can do two strips for extra heavy loads, one strip for regular loads, but honestly, in our household, we get by just using like half a strip. It works for all different laundry machines, whether you use hot water, cold water, dissolves 100%, and it even ships in biodegradable cardboard packaging. By far, one of our favorite parts is just how slim and compact it is. And usually, you know, these like sustainable swaps, they're either more expensive, or they take more time or it's like just like not as good as what you're swapping them with but I can assure you this swap checks off all of those boxes and plus they are hooking you guys up with a sweet deal if you guys use the link below with the promo code and just let me show you how easy this is put in your dirty clothes like normal with the rest of your laundry you're gonna take your pre-measured strip whether you use a half hole whatever toss it in there Boom. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today. Tomorrow we gotta head over and try installing some curtains for the studio and just like tidy up a little bit more. Um, but yeah, we'll see you guys then. All right, first stop, Muji. So we're currently on the lookout for some containers. These ones are a bit more what I'm looking for. We got some office supplies here. I see it. Need a rainy day back again in Vancouver. It was sunny for a little bit. It was so nice, but we are back. All right, so the main thing for today are hanging up these curtains. As you can see, the windows are quite bare and I think it'd be nice to have some sort of like sheer diffusion so the light isn't as harsh. Um, and I think it'll just add a little bit of privacy. Um, and also, this is Ryan's plaster art from yesterday. Look how good that looks. I definitely prefer it without the white paint that I did over there. Um, so who knows? Maybe I'll just replaster that one. But looks I really will good. Be taking for commissions for Vancouver. Yes. How how much are you selling? Five what? Million dollars. I think it's thirty. Yeah. All right. So here's what the curtains are looking like, and. We're not the biggest fans. A, it's a couple inches too short, because these are 10 foot ceilings. And here's what it looks like closed. I don't know. Maybe partly because the curtains are a little bit too sheer, like they look cheap. 
So maybe that's why it's looking like this. All right, so we just decided to continue with the other window because um, we think it's mainly the issue with the actual curtains themselves. It just looks way too cheap and it's a little bit too short. Um, but it's kind of difficult finding like 10 foot. Anyways, but we're gonna do the other one and then we'll, we'll figure it out after. All right, so here, both of them installed. Yeah, I think once we change out the curtains, it'll actually look really nice. Yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments because I know these windows are kind of weird because it's like recessed in. There's not a lot of space above the curtain rod, which there technically should be, but you know, you gotta do with what you got. True earth to the rescue. We definitely need to put this in the wash. And actually, now that everything is put back into place, um, it actually looks pretty decent, like almost pretty fucking good. Yeah. And I think once we have the rest of the furniture in here, um, you know, these might work out. But yeah, folks, that's it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, folks. So this morning, I have a very exciting delivery. As you can see, this wall is very empty. So I ordered a console table to go here. Um, and I think it's going to look very, very nice. I'm very excited for it. Let's go get it. All right, folks, here we are. As you can see, it's from Sundays. This thing is huge. I think I'm gonna need Ryan's help, so I'm just gonna wait until he arrives. All right, so until he gets here, I asked y'all on Instagram for some business slash lifestyle related questions. So we're gonna do a little Q and A. How do you deal with feeling slow with your career and life progress? Um, you know, this is also something I touched in the past, but you know, being on YouTube, this is my eighth year and then you see these people where this is like their first year on YouTube and they're at like a million subscribers or 500,000 subscribers and I'm like damn this is my eighth year almost a decade on YouTube and you know I just passed 100,000 subscribers and it's a very a very slow and steady um, growth for me but I also have to keep in mind that the achievements that I've achieved currently um, not a lot of people you know, have the privilege of even pursuing it. And the fact that I'm able to independently create the content that I want for you guys, not a day goes by where I'm not grateful for that. But it is very difficult when you are in this comparison game. Um, and honestly, the, the biggest thing I could say is just focus on yourself, focus on your own work, and just do what you can do at your current capacity. Why did you feel the need for an office space? Uh, this is a very good question because, you know, obviously the majority of my content creation work I've been doing from home for the past eight years. Um, but it seemed like the pain point for the content creators and my friends that I've been talking to is that everything is so independent and because we all work from home and we have been working from home for five plus years, um, it's a very, lonely uh, career, uh, which is kind of ironic because so many eyes are on you, but even with that, it is very, very lonely. So to have other people in the room, not even like talking to you, but editing together, collaborating and brainstorming, to have this as like that kind of community space um, is what I want. And obviously with the BLS club launching um, and different creative ventures, I just wanted a studio for that and here we are the sun is starting to peek through so the lighting might change so apologies what motivates you when life gets monotonous um personally i i love a monotonous life i love consistency i love my routine and i thrive in that um, and I think it's really about your mindset. Like if you have a pessimistic mindset and you think that, oh, every day is the same, it's so boring, etc., then you're not gonna enjoy that. However, if you're a little bit more optimistic and you're like, you know, I have the privilege of living a very consistent and happy life and I'm able to, to work on myself and kind of know what to expect for the next days, um, you know, I think it could be something very rewarding, but I, I do understand that sometimes it, it does get very monotonous, which is why. I got a studio. <laughs> How is basketball? Yeah. It was great, except for the big truck. Assembly's pretty simple. All we gotta do is use the Allen key, tighten up the leg. Oh my goodness, look how perfectly that fits. Wait, babe, go get your uh, plaster art. <laughs> 
Wow! Wow! Grape! Wow! Grape! That actually looks so good. All right, so I'm just gonna call it here for the studio vlog. Once again, thank you for watching, and remember to be less shitty. Wait, come here. Say bye. 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 I haven't even had my coffee today. Man, this morning was so rushed. They See were supposed like to give me. Goodbye. No, they were supposed to give me a three-hour window when they're gonna be coming, and then they called me. They're like, "We're gonna be there in 15 minutes." I'm like, "Oh, okay."